A local naval officer remains in federal custody. The FBI says Lieutenant Fan Yang and his wife have been linked to a smuggling scheme and illegal gun trading with Chinese nationals. And tonight, Action News Jax is hearing from military experts who say this man may have threatened our national security. Action News Jax Russell Colburn is live at NAS Jax where Yang was stationed. And Russell, agents say since Yang had top secret clearance, investigators will have a difficult time discovering what information has been compromised. Yeah, tonight I spoke with two retired naval officers, an admiral and a captain. Both agreed that this is troubling. Now, agents say Lieutenant Fan Yang worked here at NAS Jax for the last five years. He was a part of an anti submarine division and had top secret clearance since 2012. Tonight, a local Navy lieutenant and his wife are accused of illegally helping a Chinese national purchase firearms and then lying about it to the FBI. According to newly released federal documents, Lieutenant Fan Yang is charged in a scheme that used a shell company to smuggle goods from the U.S., goods in the form of military boats, and potentially sensitive technology. He's a multi-threat, multi-layered problem here. Captain Rick Hoffman served in the Navy for 28 years. He says the fact that Yang had top-secret clearance and was assigned to the Maritime Patrol Reconnaissance Weapons in school, he was trusted with secrets about tactics and techniques used in anti submarine warfare. He's already accepted that hundreds of thousands of dollars, or he's already violated the law willingly. The idea that somebody could have then turned him to, to betray more secrets of our nation is quite real if it hasn't already happened. It's absolutely, absolutely a real problem. Hoffman said now that they have Yang in custody, it's something the FBI and NCIS will now focus on. Whether he was initially recruited as a spy or whether he subsequently exposed himself to that kind of vulnerability, I don't know. The FBI and the NCIS will figure that out. But could he potentially have been uh, turned and, and, and create a bigger security problem for us? Absolutely. Now, I did reach out to the FBI tonight about any potential secrets being leaked, and they can't confirm or deny any investigation. But to Hoffman's point, he'll give his expertise on any possible fallout from this all new at 11. Live at NES Jax, Russell Colburn, Fox 30 Action News Jax.